Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And as you can see, um, I started recording this before I even had my infographic done on Canva. So because I was so excited to get this word out here, um, I just attended the 2023 Align Technology Innovation Day, which was a live stream from Chicago AAL. No, I did not go to AAL for obvious reasons that many of you know but I was there virtually, so that was cool. And as always, anytime I make one of these videos that are informative, so this is gonna be about Invisalign, Align Technology's newest launches and products. Um, if Align Technology does not agree with what I'm saying, they are welcome to email me and I'll be glad to modify or take down this video. But I did my best to capture the essence of what they said in the lecture, and I'm going to summarize it and record it back to you, and it's all super positive, so I'm really, really psyched. And for those of you who followed me for going on my seventh year now, you can see that I'm definitely a lot more bullish about Align Technology, and I have to keep saying the disclaimer because for some reason, some of you think I work for them, and I 100% never have taken a dime from them. Never, never, never. So, um, I mean, if I'm giving them praises, it's because they're doing something right. So, um, and that's just how I roll with any company. But anyways, um, so first of all, I have to say great presentation Align technology. Second of all, I have to say way to bury the lead because the best part was what you guys said at the very end. And that's when I actually got excited. First, I was like, this is lame. This is lame. This is lame, really. So, um, all right. So three major things that they announced, only one of them was super exciting to me. So I'll bury the lead just like they did. I'll do it in the order that they said it. So first of all, they are going to be creating something called Invisalign Personal Plus personalized plan. And for those of you who submit a lot of Invisalign cases, it's super tedious and repetitive, right? Um, you might put your preferences in the clinical preferences section, but that only covers a few things. And for me, like the way the preferences go in that section, it's like, okay, um, it's going to differ if it's an adult or a team. It's going to differ depending on the type of deep bite, the type of open bite, the reasons behind it. So you're going to be able to have an interview and i don't know if this is only going to be allowed for orthodontists or for gps as well so they did not say this because this was an orthodontist conference so i know it's available to orthodontists but i don't know if this is available to gps yet as always they tend to roll them out to orthos first and then they roll them out to gps but i don't know so um they did not answer that um nor did they have a q a section but it's going to be able to go through an interview process with someone on the Invisalign team so that you can eliminate where the repetitive questions for certain types of things like for example you guys work with me. You guys know I don't like power ridges. You guys know um, I do like anterior bite turbos on most cases, except for, you know, perio cases, et cetera, et cetera. I like to slow down my plans, double the trays, um, et cetera, et cetera. At the end, I like to remove my turbos, a few aligners before the end. I mean, that's pretty much on almost every single case. I mean, there's a few one-offs. For deep bite cases, I can't really give you a full preference because a lot of it's going to depend on the SEF, so I don't know how that's going to work. For open bite cases, a lot of it's going to depend on the habit and how we're going to fix the open bite. There's all different ways to fix it depending on the SEF, so I don't know. But anyways, they said it's going to take the 10-page submissions down to one page, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'd have to see it, so I don't really know how helpful that's going to be. But their thought is, is they know that most orthodontists take three, four, five modifications to get a clean check right, which is correct, because that's how long it takes me. I completely agree with that, and I'm glad that they validated it. That is kind of a waste of time, you know. Um, and, you know, they're going to try to get it down to just one or two. So, okay, so I respect that. That was kind of cool. Um, the second thing they talked about, I was not that excited about, which was improved 3D controls. They tried to really encourage the orthodontist to use the 3D controls. I don't use it because my time is valuable. I'd rather just say what I want. Um, so I like the idea of the personalized plan better than me learning to use the 3D controls and sit there and tediously move teeth around. But supposedly they're going to improve that. If you like doing that, that's not my thing. I don't do it. Okay. Um, the third thing was pretty exciting. So now there's a new program called Virtual Care. This is the Barry the Lead. So get excited. Drum roll, please. Virtual Care AI. And basically, for those of you who follow my videos ever since I first started six or seven years ago, I've been like super bullish about dental monitoring system in hand dental. Invisalign Virtual was always pretty blah. Um, they were way behind in creating that program. It didn't really launch until COVID. So they're way behind the other programs that are out there. Um, I 100%, I know the doctors who are using virtual programs for check-ins and eliminating the in-office visits and doing their appointments in just three to four appointments, doing actual appointments, the doctors who are fully virtual. I mean, obviously 
you're coming in, you're taking the scan, you're getting examined by a doctor, you're getting your x-rays, right? And then next visit is going to be delivery attachments and IPR. And then the next visit is DBOD. I mean, you give them the whole box of aligners and you put them on virtual and they check in every aligner, go, no, go, you know? So DM dental monitoring definitely took the lead on this. They came out seven or eight years ago, maybe more. I've had great conversations with them. I've attended their summit. It's a great program. Don't get me wrong. But what goes wrong with DM is it doesn't directly integrate with the ClinCheck. So, um, you know, not directly. This will be basically, uh, if you've used, heard the term just zucking, it's like, Mark Zuckerberg, like they kind of stole. <laughs> it sounds like they're basically stealing everything from DM. I'm, I'm just uh, sorry, online technology. I'm not saying you stole something. I'm saying it's a good idea. It's like Instagram taking good ideas from TikTok, or you know what I mean. So the reels or something like that, or shorts. So it's just, you've got a good idea. If it's not patented, do it. You know why not? I mean, it's, it's just better for patients and it's better for doctors and not everyone likes DM. So, you know, it, it's kind of expensive because this isn't going to cost anything. If you're already an Invisalign doctor, it's not costing anything. With DM, I have to pay a heck of a lot of money. I don't know how much they cost now. It's a great program, don't get me wrong. In hand is great. I think it's a happy medium. It's not that expensive. Uh, you do get the dashboard. But anyways, we're not getting in that. So basically, they're bumping up their virtual care app to virtual care AI and you're going to be able to directly put notes in and they didn't really explain it, but... I think that's so cool because right now, like, let's say I have a patient that's hypothetically speaking, that's doing virtual care, right? Or you have a patient and let's say you're like, goodness, they're going to do virtual check-ins. These are, there's certain things that I want to check on this, this, you know, especially check tooth number 10, you know, see if it's tracking or see if it's jumped the crossbite or look at the hygiene on this tooth or something like that. And supposedly you're going to be able to put in special things for the AI to check. I don't know exactly what. And then it's going to automatically check those and answer the patient within an hour. So that means you don't have to answer every single patient, which is kind of how DM works. It's going to use the AI to get simple answers and you can pre-program that ahead of time. That's all I know. That's what I heard them say, but that's awesome. I'm very familiar with it, obviously, because DM started doing that like five zillion years ago. Um, but you're not going to have to pay more is my understanding. You are going to have to get their special retractors and you're also going to have to get something called Invisalign lens, which is basically like the DM scan box, but more, but smaller. Um, so again, I'm familiar with that too. That came out a long time ago, but it seems like it's just a remodeled version of that. And it seems like it's pretty small, much more compact that you, so you can travel with it. So I think that's pretty cool, but, um, they didn't really say so, um, Oh, one more thing. That was another cool thing that I liked. And, and if you watch my other videos, you know, I'm like super into, if you get retainers, you have to switch them out regularly. They're going to be prompting your patient on a regular basis to give them an option to purchase new retainers directly from Invisalign. I don't love that part of it because you're not <laughs> here. It doesn't sound like you're getting, it's like, it sounds like a retention subscription program that Invisalign is profiting off and the doctor is not profiting off. So, I mean, I think this should be shared revenue like retainer club or one of these other ones, but I mean, just my thoughts, they didn't really explain how it works, but I like that the patient is being prompted every six months to get a new retainer, which I think is brilliant. And it's definitely necessary because it's the biggest mistake. A lot of doctors make is that they just drop the ball coming to retention and you should have a fresh set of retainers retainers every and I, and I tell you guys if you're a GP to you know create your own subscription program charge them $99 a year or $49 a year or something really cheap and every time they come in for a hygiene visit they have a fresh set waiting for them that you just push the button and order you know assuming nothing has shifted um, have them check in virtually ahead of time you know, if they want to implement it but that's been I've said that idea for ages I mean you got forever aligned club retainers for life I mean there's so many companies that are already doing that, but this is going to directly integrate into Invisalign's ClinCheck and order program. So I'm assuming they can also get other consumables as well. So, um, so good job Invisalign. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. If I said anything wrong, you're welcome to have someone nicely contact me and I will modify it or take it down. But I don't think I said anything wrong. And I think everything I said was positive. So super psyched, glad to share the innovation day and all the exciting stuff that's happening with Align Technology. And just like I always say in my lectures, you know, there's really no case that you can't do with Invisalign. Um, it's incredibly sophisticated. And every time I see some of these complex cases that I think you could only do with braces, I'm like, holy cow, you did that with Invisalign. I didn't think that was possible. And at this point, there's I don't think anything's off the table. I've seen it all. It's not always, there's an occasional case where it might be more efficient or quicker to do it in braces. I mean, I've certainly done some cases like that, but um, I don't think it's ever impossible. 
And, and there's certainly way more scenarios where it's quicker to do it with Invisalign than with braces, especially now with weekly check-ins and the virtual care. And just three appointments? I mean, that's freaking crazy. It's a game changer. I mean, braces cases are coming in 20 times, 24 times. That's just three times. There's just no reason, no matter how busy a patient is, there's no reason that you can't do that now. So I think it's freaking awesome. Anyways, all right, super psyched to share that with you. Thanks.